Um, the other day, Brazil had delivered um, an urgent message, and it, basically the message was global democracy. The global democracy crisis isn't going away anytime fucking soon. Now, despite the setback suffered by Republicans in the twenty twenty two midterms, the global democracy crisis shows no sign of of disappearing anytime soon. And although Donald Trump has been its most visible symbol, it is bigger than any one person, movement, or any nation. Um, the fake populist leaders, neo-fascists, and authoritarians <coughs> um, <coughs> um, they're adept at um, they're adept at using the public's grievances and pain and um, it's both real and imagined as fuel for their political project of obtaining and keeping unlimited power. <clears throat> now, so, such leaders created political personality cults, and it's built on manipulating the loneliness, anxiety, anger, and the collective emotional pathology below the surface of a nation or community. Um, now, ultimately... The people who are attracted to right-wing populism and other anti-democracy movements are seeking simple answers to complex problems in the world that's beset by forces of inequality, unfairness, and injustice. Now, the, demag the demagogic leaders um, promise to tame or wield those forces in a poorly defined crusade for justice or freedom are simply just for revenge. They can do no, they can do no such thing, of course, as Trump's as some. Um, as Trump so vividly illustrates, such leaders typically care only about themselves and perhaps their inner circle and they tend to view their followers with contempt. Now, um, fascist and authoritarian leaders thrive on telling the ever bigger lies and attack the very nature of empirical reality through conspir conspiracism, um, disinformation, and the vast echo chamber sustained by mass media and online social media. The global, the global Republicans also deploys religion to gain legitimacy, in many cases convincing their sycophants that a political cult leader is fulfilling, is fulfilling a prophecy and doing the work of the invisible fairy man in the sky. Um, now, much of, the much of the political class in the U.S. and other Western-style dem um, democracies, they continue to believe the rise of the far right can successfully be addressed through responsible um, public policy and real politics focused on material concerns or kitchen table issues, especially through improving the lives of working class people who may feel alienated and disenfranchised. Now, this is an error in both assumptions and reasoning. Authoritarianism and fascism are revanchist projects based on emotions, myths, and fantasies of recapturing an imaginary golden age when tradition ruled on those people, generally some type of other in a given society, stayed in their place. Now, appeal to reason. Expertise of the actual lessons of history possesses little value in this context. Now, in fact, those things are viewed as, um, as nonsense by authoritarian leaders and their sycophants, who perceive themselves consciously or otherwise as Harris who supposedly un, um, the uncorrupted masculine energy focused on, a, on, focused on action um, and, and the body, rather than the intellect, empathy, and mutually respect, um, respectful discourse demanded by caring um, contemplation and, cons and consensus politics. Um, in, a, in an interview with Salam last year, Andrew Vitoretti, a who's a senior member of the global forecasting team at the Economist um, at the or uh, at the Economist um, and Intelligence Institute, um, intelligence unit basically explained that the average global score of democracy had hit um, an all-time low back in 2021, and that many nations previously de designated by his team as full democracies had fallen into the category of a full democracy. But the number of authoritarian regimes around the world had increased in every region of the globe. Had suffered, a, had suffered a decline in its average democracy score, except for um, Eastern Europe, which is pretty interesting enough. If Donald Trump is widely perceived as the leading figurehead of the global um, Republicans, he certainly is not alone. If Trump's political power and influence appears somewhat diminished two years after he instigated the Klan attack on the Capitol, it is also, it is, it is also evident that Trumpism as a movement seems to be a bigger issue than he is. Um... Now, we saw evidence of this just on January 8th of, of this year, when Brazil witnessed its own version of a right-wing populist coup, as thousands of supporters of recently ousted President Jer um, Jair Bolsonaro, sometimes called the Trump of the Tropics, invaded the capital city of Brazil and stormed the presidential palace, the Congress, and the Supreme Court. Um, as New York Times columnist uh, Vanessa Barber writes, 
Um, the resemblance between this ugly episode and the January 6th clown attack in Washington was more than just superficial. And here's what she ha and here's what she said. Hopefully that was the last act for the Bolsonaris extremists. Um, the extremist supporters of the former um of the former president um Bolsonaro, who was once called the Trump of the tropics, yet as with the January sixth clan attack on the U.S. Capitol by by the former by sycophants of former squatter Donald Trump, it is unclear if this is the end of a political movement or just the beginning of a more of more division and chaos. The new president Luis Del Silva. Um, already faced a difficult challenge to unite his divided country, even without a bombastic former president just off stage. And many of his um, supporters are now prone to violence. And bring and bringing those responsible for the attack to justice is a vital place to start. Now, like Trump, Bolsonaro didn't even pretend to observe the rituals of democracy, and he did not attend um, Luis um, de Silva's inauguration on January first. In fact, he flew to the U.S. and spent the final days of his presidency in Florida. And yet in the day since his defeat, many of Bolsonaro's um, 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 supporters have camped outside military bases around the country, um, figuring out that the former president will pull together a last-minute plan. And we don't know the date. We don't know what will happen. We don't know where. We only trust our one president, um, one protester had said. Um, but also, like Trump, Bolsonaro has made claims about, about a stolen election and suggested that he and his followers were victims of, of some amorphous conspiracy. Many of Bolsonaro's supporters have openly called for a military coup, uh, as uh, as one occurred back in Brazil in the 1960s, an ideal that Trump and some of and some of his advisors, at last briefly entertained. Some of Trump's agents and allies, most notably Steve Bannon, um, the fat fuck Jason Miller, and the and the um, and the other pe and the racist piece of shit fucker Carlson, they eagerly supported and amplified and perhaps incited the coup attempt in Brazil. At Foreign Policy, Catherine Osborne observes that the parallels with events in the United States goes beyond any coincidence. Bolsonaro and his top advisors have met repeatedly with, with um, Trump and his, cohort or, and his cohorts over the years, even after the former squatter left office. The Brazilian far-right leader has emphasized his um, links to evangelical churches, pro-gun movements, and the U.S.-founded Conservative Political Action Conference. Um, the Washington Post reported in November of 2022 that one such meeting between Trump and Bolsonaro camps followed last October, um, last October's Brazilian election. Bolsonaro's son Eduardo, a congressman, reportedly met with Trump and his aide, and, the, and his aide, the, the fat fuck Jason Miller, in Florida, and they spoke with um, Trump's former strategist Steve Bannon by phone to discuss the next steps. And Eduardo was in Washington on the um, during the Klan attack on January 6 of 2021. As a result, it had been it had been forecasted that Bolsonaro's supporters might seek to execute some version of gen of the clan attack of the January sixth clan attack in Brazil. And what hap what had been less clear was when and how such an event would play out, and what impact it would have on um on on any transition. Now, Im images of the Brazilian of the Brazilian insurrection of January eighth shocked the world, and it will no doubt serve as ammunition for online meme warfare and and the right wing and recruitment camp campaigns. But there is one important difference between the Brazil attack and the one and the Klan attack that happened two years ago. More than one thousand five hundred of Bolsonaro's um, supporters were rounded up and arrested by law enforcement, and they were and they were not simply allowed to go home after the rampage, as was nearly all of Trump's Klan attack members on January six. It appears likely that ringleaders, um, the finan the finan the, finan the financiers and other organ and or and other organizers of the attempted coup in Brazil will face prosecution. And to this point, Trump and his co-conspirators have been shielded from any real consequences for their crimes against democracy and the rule of law. And indeed, the Klan insurrectionists and their allies, including newly elected House Speaker, um, the piece of shit Kevin McCarthy, now control the House of Representatives. Um, but in Brazil and most other nature democracy and mature democracy, sorry, um, the Republican fascist coup plotters and other insurrectionists would certainly, at the very least, not to be, would not be allowed to remain in public office, and more likely they would be in prison or worse. Now, at the Atlantic, Yasha Monk, who's a leading expert on populism and the global right, offers this warning. If one thing is consistent in the history of populism, not just in Brazil and the U.S., but also in varied, um, also in varied countries such as Italy, Thailand, and Argentina, it is that populists can hold on to a significant presence in the political system, even after they lose an election. In their lowest moments, they usually they usually retain the fervent support of a significant base of superfans. The moment their elected successors fail to deliver on their promises, experience and, and experience an economic crisis, or or they're embroiled in a serious scandal, the populists are poised to surge back to power. 
Now, in that sense, the, the um, insurrection in Brazil, even though it was carried out by by no more than a few thousand people, and has and it has been quickly suppressed, it's it's a worrying omen for what may come via the ballot box. The country remains deeply divided, but if um, but if the Silva's government um, if the Silva's government stumbles as well as it as it could, Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro may return from his Floridian um, exile in triumph, and even if his hold over his um, supporters fades. Some other demagogue could seize upon the latent the latent mistrust in the political system that he stoked. In another Atlantic article, the Pulitzer winning historian and journalist Anne Applebaum, Applebaum observes a pattern beginning with Bolsonaro's Trump like refusal to attend the inauguration of his successor. Um, he and his followers have been pursuing fictional claims and lawsuits in the Brazilian courts. They then choose January eighth, almost exactly two years after the assault on the, on the American Capitol attack, to stage their own. A strange date in some ways because the sitting um, sitting president of Brazil, um, Lu, um, Luis um, Lula da Silva, has already been inaugurated and the chaotic assault in Congress will not block him from exercising power. But the power of example works in, in other ways too. If Americans want to help Brazil defend its democracy and avoid sinking into chaos, and if we want, if, and if we, if we want to avoid um, stop the still movements proliferating in other democracies, then the path forward is clear. We need to prove conclusively that but both these movements will fail after all, the American version already failed, and that their instigators from the very top and to the very bottom pay a high price for that failure. The January 6th committee has just made a clear recommendation to the Justice Department asking for a criminal case to be brought against Trump, and the events in Brazil should remind us that the department's response to this demand will shape politics not only in the United States but around the world. And we should also get ready to help the Brazilian government in its quest for, for justice. We should help... We should help it pursue the financial ties, political relationships, or other connections between American and Brazilian insurrectionists, including links between Trump and Bolsonaro, if they are significant. But we should not do so, just not for Brazil's sake, but for ours. The democratic revolutions have long been contagious, and now we know that the anti-democratic revolutions can be, um, can be too. Now, historian Ruth ben Giat, one of the world's um, for- foremost experts on fascism and authoritarianism, notes in her Substack letter- newsletter, that both Bolsonaro and Trump had invested in years-long relentless disinformation campaigns that were designed to discredit their country's electoral systems in the public mind. Now, personality cults create images of the leader as infallible, um, and preparing followers to see any setback to their hero as the result of a, of, of a nefarious of a nefarious external um, external forces rigging the system against against them, as part of preserving its competent of, of its competency in their eyes, having someone or something to blame. Like, pers- like President Joe Biden or um, or Lula da Silva, as it may be, also keeps the personality cult alive by letting followers avoid acknowledging that their hero is a fucking loser. Now, whether they blindly believe the lies fed to them or they know the truth and just want to keep their man in office, hardcore followers of an authoritarian of an authoritarian, of an authoritarian simply won't accept the new leader and the democratic um, political order that he represents. The Texas GOP's um, J- June 2022 resolution that Biden is not the legitimate is not a legitimate president, but only an acting leader, is in this is in this vein and a big red flag for America's democracy. The trashing of the interiors of, of, of Brazilian Congress, the Supreme Court, and the presidential palace and lawmakers' offices at the U.S. Capitol express a common desire to annihilate a political rally that, that does not include the cult leader at its helm. Now, contrary to what, what, to what many or perhaps most Americans would like to believe, the global fascist tide is more than one big hurricane, that will sweep over the landscape and then disappear. After which we can, after which we can rebuild, repair, and prepare for the, that we can repair, and then we will, and we will, and we will prepare for the future. In fact, the forces of the um, of, of illiberalism will continue to cause mayhem well into the future. The vig, um, the vigilant, um, the vigil, the vigil, the vigilant and protective defense of democracy anywhere and everywhere, and freedom will be the only way to defeat the global right. And that outcome remains far in the future, and it will require much. What we call sacrifice and struggle. Now, if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way. And also, if you want to support a, um, another channel of mine, um, you can check out my um, you can check out my secondary channel for um for um for YouTube called RBW King Reviews. Where I re- will will do um, um review outtakes on different things, and you can check out that um and, and thanks for listening.